Hi guys, um, I'm just letting you know that I am very supportive of Sherry and her taking over art dolls. I um, have been, well, had a full-blown nervous breakdown for one thing. i um, been going through a lot of difficult stuff working through trauma and it just ended up being way too much for me and I'm kind of at the point of just trying to get my brain to be working again and being able to make it through the day, make it through an hour. So, um, I also found out this is probably autistic burnout. I didn't even know. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to try to get myself cleaned up a bit and give you more information later today about the direction I'll be taking things going forward and I'm really sorry for how poorly I did it meeting orders and everything I have had so many I mean you have those lists of like the top stressors in the world <laughs> I went through all of them about in the past couple of years and it just really really took away my ability to function. <laughs> In a lot of ways, and when that happens to you, it's really scary. And I guess, I guess the reason I'm even gonna make some videos is because if anybody else out there or knows a loved one who has been going through this, um, hopefully I make my way out, right? And I can leave a roadmap and how to do that because when you're in it it feels very hopeless and it's very easy just to see everything that you've done wrong and especially if you're like me and like autistic people who are very very detail oriented all those details really stand out when it's on the negative side too anyway I'm just hoping that talking and sharing my story will help someone out there and Though it's horrifyingly embarrassing for me, and I feel like I'm just as embarrassed even when I'm having a good hair day and a good face day. And I think that's just also part of the anxiety that comes along with whatever this groovy brain type is. So um, I will be back later today, and thank you so much for all the love and support that you've given me. Again, I'll, I'll let you know what how I'll get all the different packages out to people because I still have stuff to sell and the postage labels and everything ready to go. I just haven't been functioning. And so my whole world stopped. My body declared it <laughs> that everything was coming to a stop. And so now I'm just trying to get the real rolling again. Anyway, I love you. Um, thank you so much. <laughs> to everyone that let me have this opportunity to I especially love teaching and I, I'd like to continue doing that we'll see what I can handle um, I was just somebody stuck in a really painful marriage with no money and five and then six children and I loved fairies and somehow Somehow I ran into the fairies on eBay, and I ran into Patricia Rose's teaching materials, and I found I had a talent for this that I didn't even know I had, and it helped, it helped me get out of that situation and learn a lot about your surroundings and not staying in situations that hurt you because they're doing damage in ways that you don't even know. But I'm really grateful that sculpting came along. I'm grateful for Jack. And I hope one day uh, he will be proud of me. <laughs> because it's surely not today. <laughs> but I promise if the whole story was known, it'd be a different perspective. 
I'm very grateful for Jack Johnston and everything that he's taught me. He's a, he's a good man. You know, he and his wife personally, and they are just such sweethearts. And Sherry Nielsen, I know her and her husband well too, and they are wonderful. And they're in a much better situation to be able to, to take care of all of you, especially in the sculpting tool situation and clay and all that type of stuff. They're wonderful for that. And she's great to do workshops with. I just love these people dearly, so I just wanted um, to let you know that I'll be signing off of Art Dolls and still keeping making fairies. Right now I'm just still trying to get the money up so I can get my shop opened up again because all the postage that I bought came due and then I missed a, a payment on the shop because I didn't have any money. So that's what the wait is. And so I'm going to try to get creative to see how we can get things going because I just... You know, I've been door dashing <laughs> to be able to survive. And I actually love meeting people and I don't mind the job at all. I'm really grateful for it, but I don't feel like I'm exactly doing my calling. You know what I mean? So, sorry about all the noise. I'll be in touch soon.